What's up, guys? It's Daryl here from the Loose Joints, and today I guess I'll be uh, reviewing Sheva Alomar, Resident Evil 5. I didn't think I'd pick her up, uh, but I walked into Toys R Us today and missed out on Chris, but I decided, oh heck, why not? I'll pick up Sheva. Uh, she's 23, 165 centimeters, weighs 52 kilograms, female, and has the origin of the BSAA. I'm not sure I remember what that means. And so. This player select is really similar to a lot of the other player select packaging. And heck, let's get this. Here she is, the wonderful and talented Sheva Lamar. She, uh, hmm. Well, I just got her out of the box. She's pretty well detailed. She comes with this beautiful purple pinstriped uh, blouse. And all these little dookies all over, these little packages, you know, little, uh, she has her walkie um, and everything, you know. She's got this little knife. Woo, straight out of packaging. And that's a, that's pretty touch. I can't wait to get Chris because he has a huge one on his back. And I'm pretty sure that'll be able to come out. If it doesn't, damn, what a rip. So let's get a full body check up on Miss Sheva. Here she is from top to bottom. Check out that ass. It's not as a. Uh, it's not as good as I'd say, Viper's ass, but a nice ass nonetheless. Which doesn't make sense to me. I mean, black girls gotta have more ass than the white girls, or whatever Viper is. But anyways, Nega once again did a good job on these figures. Fortunately, she only has 20 ar points of articulation, which I think. I'm not sure, but it's it's standard. Um, it, it's not as much as the Street Fighter figures. I mean, they had like 36. 36 is like my is like the you know prime number. It's not a prime number, but it's the best number to have for articulation. You know, or it's not the best because of course if you had infinite t articulation, that'd be good. But you you guys know what I'm saying. It's it's. It's perfect for me, for a uh, action figure, 36. Now, her head does go all around, and up and down, so she can get a good view of all the black zombies. If I am not mistaken, Sheva Alomar is my first black action figure. If you don't count animated jazz. I'm like actually looking around my room. And, hot damn, I believe she is. She's my first black action figure, guys. Anyways, anyways. Arms go in and out. And I'm hoping, yep, 360. Oh, man, I need to give you guys a good shot of this tattoo she got. Uh, nice. On one side. Um, her arm here swivels kind of awkwardly at this um, diagonal joint and her hand 360 all right uh, oh, okay she does have a little waist articulation you can actually see her belly in there and I'm guessing oh no it doesn't really just moves around like this a little bit not too much but a little bit now like Viper, she has the same comfort problem. Her vagina isn't as big as Viper's, but it's still there. Um, so it goes in and out, forward and back. It's very good, very well cut. 360 here. Uh, bend at one point at the knee. Hmm. And that's it, nothing at the foot because her boots are completely stale, but that is her articulation. Her accessories, she does come with this pistol right here. It's a really pretty well sculpted pistol. You can put that in her hand or you can put it right here in her holster. I'm going to put this in your holster. Um, is there a special way to put it in Oh, it, it little pegs out there and you shove that right in there. And you can reclip it. Awesome, that's pretty good. Stays in there really well. Same with the knife. 
Good, 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 and of course she has a to have an actual gun that you can. Bam! She got the rifle, sniper rifle. It's pretty, pretty beautiful. I like it. One of my favorite weapons in the game, personally. And let's put this in your hand. Somehow, in your hand. Come on, hold it. Put your finger in the trigger. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. Ah, that was actually that was actually better than I expected. So she holds the uh, rifle pretty well, actually. So those are her accessories. Okay, here we have Sheva next to the executioner. Oh, we go. There we have Sheva next to the executioner, who she just um, defeated with her sniper rifle. But, uh, let's get you this big guy back up. There we go. Shove it in the executioner. You can tell she still way outsizes her pretty dang well. Um, but that's what you get for, you know. She's she's a lot cheaper at Toys R Us than I expected. I expected like 15 but she's only thirteen ninety nine, As opposed to, I got the executioner for 10 But I guess they sacrifice, uh... You know, one thing for another. She got the articulation. He got the uh, massiveness. Personally, I like the executioner a lot better. And I didn't notice, I mentioned this in the video, but his little apron is like a leathery... Uh, sorry, I just ate. It's like a little leathery kind of material. So it, it's it's flexible and moves. So that's, a, that's always a plus, right? And so here's Sheva aiming her gun at the guy. And uh, as you see, he, he felled, she just felled her, him. And uh, her arm is kind of weird to pose this, since, uh, you know, her, she has pretty limited articulation in her elbow, which is a minus, but it's still good. Overall, I like Sheva a lot as a figure. Um, I'll probably give it a 8 or a 7 as a figure. NECA did a good job once again, and uh, thanks for watching, folks. Yum, watermelon. And to be fair, yum, sushi. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. They're on a date.